Reports that thousands of North Korean soldiers may soon join Russia in the war in Ukraine have reignited discussions about the possible deployment of European troops to support Kiev. Politico reports. Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielos Landsbergis told the publication that European countries should reconsider French President Emmanuel Macron's proposal to send troops to Ukraine. Landsbergis stressed, if the information about the participation of North Korean soldiers and the supply of ammunition to the Russians is confirmed, we must return to discussing the ideas proposed by Macron. The idea was floated back in February but was rejected by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who promised that no European or NATO troops would be deployed to Ukraine. Western leaders have been cautious in commenting on the reports. NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte and US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin have not yet confirmed the information, although Austin has said the possible deployment of North Korean troops is a concern. South Korea already plans to send a delegation to NATO headquarters to discuss its intelligence on North Korean troop movements, but some European officials believe the West is being too cautious. Rio Terhas, a former commander of the Estonian Armed Forces and a member of the European Parliament, said the West was using uncertainty about the reliability of intelligence as an excuse for inaction. He said integrating North Korean troops into Russian units could be a complex operational task with minimal impact on the fighting. At the same time, Teras said Europe should seriously consider sending troops to Ukraine. It's important to have that as an option. Teras stressed, adding that such a possibility could be useful if the conflict continues. According to media reports, Seoul is now considering the possibility of sending intelligence officers and experts on North Korean tactics to Ukraine. Chairman of the Council of Reserves of the Ground Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Ivan Tamochko, believes that military personnel from North Korea are already participating in the Russian Federation's war against Ukraine. It is expected that the Russian Federation will send military personnel from North Korea to the battlefield in the Kursk region. Damage was caused to homes in a Palestinian village in the Israeli-occupied West Bank on Tuesday after what appeared to be a rocket launched from Lebanon landed nearby. Of course it was in the morning and most people were asleep or preparing students for school, said Shukba resident Sami the Bet. The Israeli military said one projectile was fired from Lebanon and fell in an open area early Tuesday following an air raid siren in Modian Ilit settlement in the West Bank. This comes as Israel stepped up its strikes in Lebanon, targeting a Hezbollah-run financial institution, and as Israeli troops pushed ahead in their invasion of southern Lebanon. The military said it aims to push Hezbollah out of southern Lebanon so that tens of thousands of Israelis can return to their homes nearby after more than a year of cross-border rocket and drone attacks. Hezbollah has been launching rockets into Israel nearly every day since Hamas' deadly raid into Israel last year that sparked the war in Gaza. فجأنا الصبح إنه نزل صاروخ في هذا المكان في قرية شكبة كان صوته قوي قوي جدا وهذا الصاروخ أجا بعد صفارات انذار قوية سمعناها طبعا كان الوقت صباحا ومعظم الناس نايمين أو بتجهزوا الطلاب للمدارس وأحدث خوف كثير بين بين الأهالي في قرية شكبة وأحدث أضرار يعني في الأراضي الزراعية وفي المنازل والشبابيك.
The Israeli military said Sunday it had struck more than 100 military targets in the last day belonging to Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. The army released footage said to show airstrikes on the Hezbollah targets in the area of al Mira. Israel has meanwhile ramped up strikes on the southern neighborhood of Beirut known as the Dahia, a crowded residential area. Hezbollah has a strong presence there, but it is also home to large numbers of civilians and people unaffiliated with the Lebanese militant group. A year of escalating tensions boiled over into all-out war last month. Israel sent ground troops into Lebanon at the start of October. Israel's war against Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group, stretches far inside Lebanon, and its airstrikes in recent weeks have killed more than 1,700 people, about a quarter of whom were women and children, according to local health authorities. Some of the more than 50 Israelis killed by Hezbollah over the past year were hit by anti-tank missiles. The Israeli military said Sunday that more than 170 rockets were launched from Lebanon at northern Israel.